What's up? So, we are, um, so we have quail and we need to get them out of the enclosure that they're currently in because uh, it has just chicken wire on it and quail are small enough to get their heads caught in the chicken wire. Uh, and it's actually hurt a couple of them, I think. So, um, we're building an A-frame style uh, quail tractor, I guess you could call it. Mm -hmm. It's light enough that we don't really need to have wheels, but we'll probably put wheels on it. Um, so we're going to work on that today and get that done. Uh, so make sure to follow along, make sure to like, subscribe, and share our video. That really helps us out a lot. So uh, yeah, check it out. You don't have to be smart No need to dress up For me to see That you're a good man You're a good man A real good man <laughs> Alright guys, so I am trying to finish up this door that we're going to put there and then we have the last piece of metal that's got to go up here and then we're going to stick our quail in here in their new home so hopefully they'll be safe and happy. So that's what I'm kind of doing, I'm just stapling this on and I got to get that piece to go on there too. So. I'm just trying to show y'all what I'm finishing up here today is kind of a gloomy day for us. It's a gloomy day today. It's chilly. It was raining a little bit this morning. And now it's just windy and gloomy and chilly so I'm hoping that I think we're supposed to get some rain which is good because we need it for our rain catchment system we need some rain to get us through the summer months So see, we just have this seam that we need to kind of wire together a little bit. Other than that, the door just needs to trim the extra wire off. And I think we're good. And we can get it on there. We're just going to try and bend those together and then yeah, see they break. probably put some wire in between them. So that it'll keep it secure so nothing can get in there.
so we got the hinges on for the door and now for the handle instead of just going and buying one which would be the easy thing to do but this is just as easy all i'm doing is putting a uh, two by basically a two by two by i don't know eight inches long uh, and then overlapping it with a thinner but longer piece of pallet wood it's going to basically sit like this and give us a lip to be able to pull it up so then after we do that we'll figure out some kind of latch system um, to be able to keep it up and to latch it on the bottom and everything like that so i'm just going to screw this in uh, it just makes it easy and simple and and uh you know cheap to do yeah it's free yeah i mean everything here is free I mean, aside from the tools themselves, the screws we got for free, the wood we got for free. Yeah, well, we had to buy the hinges. We did have to get the hinges, yeah. We don't even have to have a, a thing. But we gotta have something so that it does, like critters can't get in it. As far as what? We gotta put some kind of latch thing on it so that. You mean down here? Yeah, so the oh, critters yeah. can't get in it. Yeah, we could probably get some little latches for the sides. I don't know if we have any more of those. But. Well, why don't you just use the wood like your dad said? Like we have over there on that one. Well, we had it in our barn in Indiana too, the, the door thing. Yep. So, there's the, the only thing. The only th actually, yeah, yeah, we could do that. Because uh, if we put it on the outside, we just turn it. Just turn it. Both sides. They could push, theoretically, they could push out. But They're they not strong enough. Out. Right. I don't know what I'm just saying. So, okay. So. Maybe right there? Mm hmm. it like that because that would keep it from going in any further you know what I mean they can't you don't think anything can lift it no nothing can lift that because you're not gonna be able to push that in now right I'm just you worried about even... something lifting it you mean like um are you sure because like critters are strong raccoons are strong oh girl you crack me up raccoons are strong yeah they're not this strong okay you lift it up and see no 
Oh, video yourself doing it. I can't video myself. <laughs> nothing lifting that up. I think a raccoon could lift it up. No. Or a fox. They got like little hands. Raccoons got hands. They're not gonna lift that up. It's like 20 pounds. There's no 30 way that's pounds. 20 pounds. Yes it is. No it is not. If it was 20 pounds I wouldn't be able to move it. We got hybrid raccoons out here evidently. They escaped from some kind of facility that I can just imagine a wreck a uh, full wreck walking around according to Harry. Do not think they're hawk raccoons. You're silly. I don't think they're raw hawk raccoons. I just I don't want to have a massacre. That's the perfect solution for these both hybrid <laughs> raccoons. Foxes. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's like massive. <laughs> oh my gosh, Jason. I don't think we need that. Well, according to you, we do. No. It needs, it needs to be Fort Knox around here. Yeah, buddy. Oh, but wait, they may be smart enough to open this. They probably, they're probably smarter than they are stronger. Oh my God. So, so they're gonna be able to somehow figure out how to unlatch this and then lift it up. <laughs> Let's just see how this does. That looks like that's massive. It's not massive, it's just, it's a solution. I mean, do you think we need it? No. Okay. <laughs> then we'll... I think we're good with that. <laughs> okay. We'll stick with that. Good. All right. Do you want another one over here, though? No. I, I think mean, that's okay. I mean, you know, <laughs> these hybrid raccoons can Talk somehow get in here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I mean, they may be able to climb up there and with their go-go gadget arms, reach in. Stop. No, they can't get through that. We need to put the metal on the back part. you taking your quail for a walk. Where you wanted it though. Oh, over there I guess for now. It'd be easier. It'd be easier with the uh, wheel dog for sure. Is it pulling the wood apart? Come on little quaily. We need to go to Harbor Freight and see if they have wheels. Let's go, little quail. How are we going to pick it up and move it and then not get out? We do it like this. We're not moving it far. Let's see if I can do it. Yeah. This is 
the hold on it's the uh farmly version of crossfit yes finally i'm doing crossfit i can totally move it i'm so excited okay you need to turn it what? Your train your trainer says to turn it. Why? It gives you muscles. <laughs> Why are we turning it? So it's facing this way. Why do you want it to face this way? So that the door is facing this way. Like right here. Yep, that's good right there. That way that Yep. Yeah, yeah that's too Okay. No, it's not poop. Oh. That way it just makes it easier for us to... And this is about the same size as their all the other one. This one part, I'm gonna go and take the scale and I'll walk. I don't even think we need to put rocks around this thing. Man, this is great. Number five. You did good. Yeah, buddy! Getting better each time. We just need wheels though. Yeah, we do need wheels. <laughs> It'll be so much better. I'm gonna get rope burn. It didn't fall apart. Nope. Jason and his quail. These little guys. There's a female. Whoa! Female, female, and a male. You gonna stay in there with them? Mike, can you bring me a sleeping bag? <laughs> You'll be safe from the raccoons. <laughs> from the hybrid Hulk raccoons? Yeah, I will be safe from them. <clears throat> You made it out? I made it out. Freedom! No raccoons got me. I think we're good. I think they're good. And I'm glad we put this smaller wire around too. And put that metal. It gives them protection. Yeah, they can go in that corner. And then, uh, this, they can't get their heads through that, so. Yes. And the cats can't, you know, stick their paws in. Or the, the, the Hulk raccoons can't stick their paws in. Stop. That's what they're going to be called from now on. <laughs> oh my goodness. The Hulk raccoons. The Hulk raccoons. By the way, we haven't even seen a raccoon around here. No, we haven't, but we we've seen the, foxes. We have seen foxes. We did see a raccoon on camera, on the deer camera. And I saw a uh, skunk. So, I mean, there are stuff out here. And our fearless cat. That I think is pregnant. Look at her. You guys think she's pregnant? She's been gone for like four or probably a week. Yeah. And she comes back all plumpy. She disappears all the time. She is probably pregnant. Goodness gracious, alive. We so need to I get think her. the only issue we would have now is if these quail turn into Hulk rabbit or Hulk hybrid quail somehow figure out how to push the door open. <laughs> oh. If that happens, then they've earned their freedom. I don't know how we're going to push that, though, without killing it. <laughs> slow, I guess. Mm -hmm. That's why we need to find the wheels. We're having the hardest time finding the wheels. Till next 
time that we build another coop. <laughs> All right, y'all. Stay tuned for some more coop making. We'll see you next time.